Hello and welcome back to the final edition of Huskies Week in Recap. I know you're devastated. Hold your tears until the end. In the meantime, I'll fill you in on what you missed this weekend. I'm your host, Alexis Pearson. The baseball team was busy this week trying to build on their winning record and they would get off to a hot start on Wednesday in a doubleheader against Minot State. There were only three runs scored in game one, but the Huskies would have two of them. Matt Meyer got the scoring started in the first inning when he put up a two-run homer to get the Huskies the early 2-0 lead. It wouldn't be until the seventh inning when Minot would finally cut into the Huskies' lead with a homer of their own, courtesy of Andrew Black. But it wouldn't be enough as the Huskies got the 2-1 win. They would follow that win up with another win later in the afternoon with Mitch Malik sending one out of the park to get the Red and Black the 1-0 lead in the first inning. The Huskies would score four more runs on the day with Ethan Ibarra closing out the scoring in the seventh by stealing home. The Huskies get the 5-0 win with Matthew Osterberg getting the win on the mound. The baseball team would look to keep their four-game win streak going into the weekend, but Northern State would stop the Huskies in their tracks as SESU would lose both games on Friday by scores of 2-0 and 4-3. The Huskies weren't going to let the Wolves rain on their parade on Saturday, though, as it was senior day for SESU, with 14 seniors and company trying to put on a show for the parents who made the trip to St. Cloud to celebrate their kids' collegiate baseball careers. We would go six scoreless innings before Torin Shahidi would cross home base for the first run of the game. It would be the fifth inning where the Huskies would really dominate, scoring five runs to finish off the Wolves by a final score of 6-0 to advance their overall record to 34-9. The softball team was also busy this week as they had three series to close out the regular season. On Wednesday, they would take on Northern State for a doubleheader. In Game 1, Morgan Emmons would get the scoring started for the Huskies with a home run in the third inning. St. Cloud State would score more runs in the 4th, 6th and 7th innings, keeping Northern State off the board the entire game en route to a 7-0 win. Kate Kopik would get her 15th win of the season on the mound. They would follow that win up with a 7-2 win as SESU would get five runs in the third to get the scoring started and would hold on to their lead for the remainder of the game. Megan Conrads went 2-4 for four in the game scoring one run, while Brooke Bowling went 3-4 for four in the game with one run as well. On Friday, they would take on the University of Sioux Falls in a doubleheader. In Game 1, St. Cloud State would jump to a 3-0 lead early in the game, but the Cougars would cut into that lead in the second with a two-run homer. SCSU would take charge from there, however, going on to win 7-2. Morgan Emmons finished the game with a run, a hit, and two RBI, while Megan Conrads finished with a hit and three RBI. The second game against the Cougars would only see one run scored when Alexander Pinkowski would score off a single by Megan Conrads. Sydney LaPointe would get the win on the mound. Closing out the week on Sunday would be a doubleheader against Southwest Minnesota State University. In Game 1, the Mustangs would get on the board first, but the Huskies would tie it in the second. The Mustangs wouldn't hold the lead for the rest of the game, and the Huskies would go on to win 7-2. Jasmine Estrada would hit 2-4 for four with an astounding 5 RBI in the game. Morgan Emmons would also perform well with a hit and an RBI. In Game 2, the Huskies would have to battle from behind again, as the Mustangs would tally two runs in the first to jump to a 2-0 lead. SDSU would get two of their own to tie it in the third and go on to win in dramatic fashion with Morgan Emmons hitting a two-run walk-off homer to secure the 4-2 win. The Huskies go 6-0 on the week and finish the regular season with an overall record of 40-14. The track and field team was in action on Wednesday at the Minnesota Women's Twilight at the University of Minnesota. Many individual accomplishments on the day include Abby Jungworth, who took first in the triple jump, Emma Baines, who took second in the 200-meter dash, and Bridget Brown, who took second in the 400-meter hurdles. Also running a lifetime best in the event with a time of 105.34. The Huskies also competed well in field events with Dominic Buchel took seventh in discus. Annie Faladero took fifth in shot put, while teammate Dakota Zimmerman took sixth in the same event. Huskies Huskies women's golf completed play at the 2019 NSIC Championships with a ninth place team finish on Sunday. In the final day of play at the Dakota Ridge Golf Course in Morton, Minnesota, SESU posted a three round total of 1,075. Minnesota State won the tournament with a score of 952. SESU's Samantha Lindeen was the top finisher for the Huskies with a 19th place score of 253 and Morgan Hetlebed was 29th at 263. Thanks for watching.